Hey, Rod, thank you. Well, just as parents are becoming increasingly concerned about the impact COVID-19 will have on the return to school, the CDC has issued a warning about another illness. AFM is the disorder that causes paralysis in children. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with important information. Hi, Doc. Hey, Kim. Yeah, the CDC warning comes just one week after the Michigan Department of Health reported our first confirmed local case of acute flaccid myelitis this year. That case is in a child from Macomb County. There are also two other suspected cases of AFM in Michigan. Here's what parents need to know. Cases of acute flaccid myelitis have been tracked in the U.S. since 2014. That year, there were 120 cases in 34 states, including four in Michigan. 2015 saw a fall in cases to 22. 2016, another resurgence to 153 cases with one in Michigan. 2017 saw a nationwide fall to 38 cases. 2018 had the highest number of cases so far, with 238 cases in 42 states, including five cases here in Michigan. Last year, the anticipated drop in cases every other year occurred, with 48 cases nationwide. Every other year peaks occur between August and November. The last increase was in 2018, making this year, 2020, a concern. So far, there have already been 16 cases nationally in 10 states, including here in Michigan. Acute flaccid myelitis is considered uncommon, but it is a potentially life-threatening medical emergency that can lead to permanent paralysis. The peak age of occurrence is five years old, but it can occur in babies and older children as well. The main symptom parents should be on the lookout for is sudden limb weakness or paralysis, often related to or following a respiratory illness with a fever. Arm weakness is more common than leg weakness. Other additional symptoms with the weakness include back pain, headache, and difficulty walking. We do not definitively know what causes AFM, but it is thought to be related to a viral infection, possibly an enterovirus, which is common in the summer and fall. Now, the diagnosis is based on specific findings on MRI, and a spinal tap is often also done to look for other potential causes for the weakness. Now, unfortunately, there is still no specific treatment, but it is important to make an early diagnosis and provide supportive care because it can progress to respiratory failure. If you think your child might have weakness, do not hesitate to go to the emergency department, even in the time of COVID. Back to you.